So I can do rather than pull it out. What I can do rather than pull it out. Now I have a problem. With, oh, you know what the game wants to say. I don't see the game volume going at all, so this is really bad, but I just have myself on the screen, so it shouldn't be a problem yet. Let me get a couple of Tootsie Rolls. So Tootsie Rolls. So the last time we streamed, we were able to knock out one game. Mm. That would be awesome if we accomplish that again tonight. A game a night. I am down with that. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds really bad. With me chewing this stuff up. It's the price we pay, right? So I have my stream chat up here. Out with the animals and the crystals and little weird creatures. So, the game that we're going to do tonight is the ooze. Hmm. I need to find my plan. Or my, oh my god, I've been kid is driving me crazy. All the terminology that I'm using now is a little kid. Not crayon with my pen. Oh, there's a pen. Well, technically, I have to use a crayon, but it's not as as efficient as writing with a pen. Of course, I put the candy on top of the paper, so I need to write on. I'm mean, just a wreck, guys. Okay, we're going to do the ooze. Mm. Now, the ooze can uh, be a little bit different here, a bit problematic. The way I calculated my attempts might be differently than when I was doing the ooze. That's all right. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're good. Or I think I'm ready. So we will lower this down. Put the game on. Webcam and game. Just type the mixer a couple of times before soon. Can you see this? You can see it. Love it all. Alright, put this over here. Let's get the clock started. Get the clock started. Uh, I just want to make the collect the key. We, did, we have played 44 minutes in this already, so. I can shoot. The last time we took it, we got to the third level, so. Can't jump and shoot though. I don't remember where all the keys are. I feel like I collected all the keys in the boat to take more than a couple of shots. Oh, I'm thinking. Uh, oh, I can't even get up there. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I remember Paul jumping on the blue thing and jumping over there. No, oh, my sorry. The only reason I remember doing this. Like in the beginning of the game, it shows you the, the trailer. Shows it being falling. Great. 
actually took me off of the platform. And I missed it. Oh, I don't know. Now we have to go up here because, oh yeah, I guess you do jump off. We go up here because it's deep. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna jump over it because I know. I don't wanna. Oh, he died anyway. Get that out of there. Hopefully, I'll be so magical to appear back. So we have to go over here and we're gonna restart this game. I know what we have to do, but we will we will have to restart this game. Okay, I'm allowed to go through Nazi stuff. No way of knowing when the fish gonna jump either. I'm sure the timing is thoroughly off. Oh, wow. That's an easy first level. Easy. Easy. I feel like I struggled way more on all of this. This, this is super easy and just time consuming. Alright, so I gotta mess that up, but. Don't oh, let me kill that guy. Why are the bubbles already starting? We'll just wait till you go all the way over to the other side and we'll do our, do our due diligence. Level oh, of course. I'd say this level is for easy, but the first half falling apart like a freaking straw. All the things it's good to you. Now he was gone. Wow. Everything's dead there, at least. So. And we can get a quick glimpse of level 3. Speedrunners die on purpose in this level. Then gets the key sooner. Same amount of number of keys and other level that you have to go to grab. And this one just seems forever because it's one spring level. But I shouldn't complain. I'm down a short level. Level. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting my glasses. My gunners. My shades. Which is funny that I said shades because we were just watching some Luke Cage. Uh, don't know where they're at though. Okay. This is not a good thing. Someone has moved my shade. Oh, there they are. I said someone has moved them with me. I said, I'm going to go out there to put them in. business. Look at this guy right here. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hurry up because I'm going to die tonight. Which is the part that we could not figure out the last time. Stupid uh, platforms. Literally all the way down here. I put it 
what are you supposed to do here? Oh, well, then I don't even get to try it, but that's okay. There's no gap. I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna try to, uh, maybe there's some safety if you jump while the thing's going up. I got the car through it, I remember cutting all the stuff that's going back to me. Now we know that uh, there's not a key there, but it's a good one. This thing is in the heart. It's not sucking it up. Dude, how many, how many more of those are there? Alright, I'm just dying. Because now it's just a full waste of our time. The enemies come back? Hey, they're not supposed to come back. So well last time and now all of a sudden I can't do it. I'm gonna die once the first time back. There's something to make the jump to the jump. There's a bunch of them. When they go down, so we're going down. So you don't see. Oh, there we go. We already knew that enemy was there. Just been going. Just gonna pop up. Now we can kind of go the same route. Oh, 
version of the The thing is, he gives the new drop stay. And then he's gonna jump so we're gonna die on purpose again. I love Action 52 and the Ooze. What a joke. Alright, you die on purpose. Oh, can't even die when I wanna die. Perfect. Fuse needs to spread for food damage. Level one. Alright, don't make me disappoint in myself. I really want to feel this. It'd be so beautiful if I can be fused and go to sleep. On Tuesday night. We'll just start on something else. So, why did I not jump? I I I'm, apologize to anyone out there watching this disaster. <laughs> I'm playing like I've never played games before. It's such a shame. I used to be good at games, but now I just blow. They'll all come back to me eventually, alright? That's how it works. Life comes in cycles. My cycle in the beginning games is coming back soon. Okay, so we didn't get to go by the fish this time. So that was an improvement. Come on. Our last fiasco. Get all the worms. Just like this and like that there. Oh, we got our roots and feet left over here. So we're gonna grab this first bee. Hopefully, not gonna kill by the fish. I'm just square. This fish is gonna jump hard. That the point is a fish. We gotta grab that bee. Right there. Ah, see? I made it look too easy. Too easy. There's another second one. Still gonna, still gonna take it if you kill. Oh, I'm dead. Huh. That sucked. That truly did suck. Level two. And then, of course, I... Two guys in a matter of seconds do not have to not have to kill the purple guy, kill the blue guy, and all of this is dodging bubbles now. It's not that hard. Level two. <laughs> it's not that hard for a, a decent gamer. But for me, apparently, it's, it's like. insanely hard. Their level with more than one life, so I can't even run an experiment. Okay, we've got an underlock compete. Lock the keys again. Turn it in. Say, I'm not getting hit by a level again, we're getting past the ball. And we're gonna lose the tenant. Not getting smashed by a stupid pillar. Not worth the risk. Alright, that didn't seem so bad. That's a pretty short entrance. Let's make sure this that's the only thing I hate. I like having my Sega Genesis here, but then I don't like it because playing with live hardware, I can't see if there's any issues with my screen on which is just blind, blind, looking at the screen and nothing is going wrong. Alright. So we're going out of here. Oh my god, that's literally all we have to do. Jump on its way up. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I was stuck in there for I don't know how many minutes all but There's no time limit, so why not be safe? Alright, get that thing to that. So now we can possibly kill the other fish. Definitely kill this guy. Super nervous, I feel like I hate this. This might only be like a four level game, so I love like one level. Four level. It's on a hill with four levels. Oh, that one went down. Wow, this looks like it's the end of the game. Oh, never mind. I got this thing as well. Wow. This game that much easier. But really, what makes these games to the mechanics? Is that a special gun? Is that a glitching system? Too broad. I'm so nervous. Like I, I, I don't know if I should touch it. I'm just gonna kill me if I touch it. Alright, it's just a back now. another level like this. Alright. We can do this. We have a, we have hopes and we have dreams. And this is this is truly something we can accomplish here. So we don't have to play this game anymore. Let's go looking for 
for that to be good. I'm gonna wait till it goes over. Oh shit. One more bubbles this time around. That can be problematic. That's okay. Right? All the all the regular enemies dead. Now we just gotta avoid the bubbles. Let's just be patient. I'd love to see the next level after this. Maybe not as fun as I was hoping. I mean, by fun I mean, it's easy as, it's as, easy as I thought it would be. And that really creeped up the difficulty here with all the, with the bubble. Oh my god! <sighs> Alright, I'm not too salty about that, but I am a little bit salty because I know we screwed up some deaths where I have an extra death or two. If I get here with all my lives, we win. We win. Level one. We complete. And we beat the who? What's up, Triple Toppa? Welcome to the stream! Oh, is there a door? Is this a shortcut to another world? I didn't even notice that the first time I played. Keep in the Triple Topper. I don't have a problem with doing jackball games, but... I'm not doing cell phone quality stuff, this is not happening here. It's gonna be horrible. There's so, there's so many other streams that do competition streams, shows, game shows, all type of stuff. The direct game feeds, no one wants to sit there and watch you hold cell phone. And do what you think of the Oh my god, now you got me fresh. Now I'm dying because I'm talking to you about that. We're just gonna reset because it's a horrible situation. Are you going to your grave? I was actually, uh, what was I doing the other day before I went to work? I was watching IGN, I think it was IGN. They were playing uh, Altered Beast. On the second like classics thing. You know, it's great seeing someone for the first time, like how many ever years ago it came out, playing that game, and just like, the strategies were just so bad. And try to make me think about how I played the game when it first came out. Hopefully, not as they did. And at first they were trying not to use to rewind, and then all of a sudden they are just like, just rewind it, just rewind it, just rewind it. But yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, have you play through it all the way through again. Oh wow, I feel like my field has got mad with that. Save. Better safe than sorry, right? Alright, cool. It looks like we got the first level kind of worked out where it's not going to take forever to do it. Sweet the fish. I'm not far into it. I'm going to work on the fish. We almost, we almost pulled up, Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Get 
that next key. Now we got level yeah, two. Yeah. Let's see if we can get level two. Not any hiccups. Twenty dollar life level twelve. I mean, let's hope level four. Right down. This is why I think it's like it's probably like a Not very creative, which is insane. But with 50, 52 games, 51 games on that, I guess you get a little bit of a break from that, right? You go a little bit more understanding. Like, hey, it's got 51 games in here, man. How much do you expect me to have in one part? At least this game has to help me. Hard this time compared to the uh, previous time I went to level two. They're like, oh, he's, he's not dying, he's gonna kill him. And now they're doing both. Look at, like, this game is shady. AI is like, yeah, we need to take some lives away. Help you grab the key, let's, let's pick up the bubble in face. Let's make it unfair some way. With uh, come on. Uh, I don't even know if he might reset that after he died. I think so because he's in the same spot and he left it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we need to just get through level 3. If we can get to level, through level 3 with uh, the lies that we have left, then we're golden. And as we've seen before, level 3 is not that hard. We just gotta be a little bit patient. Patient. Tell them to speed the power of the play. So crazy at all. Oh my god. I was probably getting so frustrated with that crap. Too much time. Thank you for the the pretty struggles of love, love, baby, one love, from triple top of. You do love each other. Oh my god, Jamal, you suck, you idiot. Going too fast for my own good. As I talk to you guys about it, being calm and relaxing. Doing big things. I wonder if we can handle it. Where does the fish pop up? Does the fish pop up on this one? Or this Oh, I might not be able to see it. I go lower. But whatever. Oh! Dude, pick that box here. And that's where we're playing the game. I don't know how to kill it. Oh, shit. And that didn't kill me? No. Maybe, oh, yeah. Maybe it killed me. I'm going to be more. So a couple copper, throwing the fish, throwing the little bird, and there's a bumblebee. You need to go further left, and hopefully the little fish will be inside the lot of it. And I'm not even going to get fish here, if I decide to jump in the little fish here. Shot. Did it register? Uh, 
Sudden cheer, but I don't know. Oh man, the Commander Roots here. Thank you for the follow. I apologize for not seeing it. I don't have the active audio on for my cheers and such. Let me see here. Yeah, it didn't register. Do you have any bit left to use? Couple timers out of bits. Damn it, Jamal. Why did I do that? So now I'm going to be stuck on level 4 if I get past this. Here, so I can see it. Oh, we don't even need to deal with it anymore. We got the PR. We're free to go where I'm going to go. Down here, get the last of these. Chopper check or something. Well, I mean, I can't even donate to myself, so I have no way of uh, testing to see if it works. Whatever. Maybe I'm no longer a partner. Maybe they banned me or something. I said, see ya, uh, Team Zopar. They're like, you don't stream enough, Team Zopar. You're done. Or you've been on action for two way too long. See ya. Long before you fuck this stuff more, you need to be up to higher ground. That's a better option. I'm down now, I'm passionate. Here I can do a little bit of time. Now we've killed all the enemies, I'm going to need to grab the key. Careful because we're going to jump and end up jumping into the bubble. Wow. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Don't know what to do. Seems so far in love with you guys. Backups. 
see you in the next level. And it's coming where we need to grab. Hopefully this is the last roll. Yeah. Two more only, please. Two more. Oh! Gosh, now I'm nervous. Should have been on the other side already. Should have been on the other side. See the last one. Last one. We've been done our job. Now we didn't do our job right now. Maybe it's two more. Maybe the right thing could be the last one. I just die, so I never know. They always beat up on the top. Wow, dude. That's like a crazy surface of the bubble. Song would be in heaven because he's his favorite thing is bubbles right now. He loves the bubbles. He's big man, he makes us go for it. He's making us go for it. Okay. Level complete. Boom. Alright. Ah, level five. Ah, oh, snappy! The ooze is done! The ooze! The ooze! I'm oozing with excitement! I need a second to calibrate myself, so it took about six more, six attempts. And come in an hour and 23 minutes. Level one. Zero seven point eight zero. The ooze, the ooze is gonna get ya, the ooze is gonna get ya, the ooze is gonna get ya. Ooh. So add six more attempts. Oh, snappy, 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 snappy. Random dude coming in with a big donation, $4.20, 420 Thank you, thank you, thank you. I apologize for not seeing it. But I have the uh, Twitch alert thing on my computer, so now I see it and give you recognition. A big T so far to random dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly appreciate everything. I mean, uh, I'm not. The only reason I don't Level say stuff is if two. I don't see it. So, yeah, that's that. And let's update these numbers here. This is a good feeling, guys. A really good feeling. So we need to move this down here. Right, so let's see what we really want to do. We need to go to the most important thing. We've taken out 45 of 51 games. Let's be proud. Let's be extremely proud. That means we only have six left. Thank you, Triple Topper. A winner is I, yes. All right, so we got that, and then we need to add more attempts. Level. Hoffman, what's up, sir? <laughs> I don't know if you were here, but you uh, we just beat the ooze, so we knocked out another game on the 51. So we have to add six more attempts, so now it's 956. So we're good there. I think I updated everything. 956, we need to get the attempt, we need to start from the markdown, that game took a total of 16. Um, time is that. Now, the games that I have left, let's go back to the thing so I can kind of figure this out. There is one game I'm going to have to replay. Uh, I lost video footage of it, so I, have to, but I don't know what one that is. I don't feel like going through that. And, but we have Dark Sign left, which we know from Sharpie playing this is feasible. We select Spaceship Shooter. We have Star Ball, which is a pinball game. Sharpie doing that unbeatable. So that means I need to at least play that in 12 hours for myself to consider that unbeatable. We have.
Mind's Eye, which I've already played for nine hours and 42 minutes. So basically, I, I agree with Sharpie that it's un, unbeatable, but I, I'll still give my best effort and not play the 12 hours. So we have that. The next game. We have. Now this is this is where it gets tricky. All right, so I said how many games I was. I said we have Mind's Eye. We have Mind's Eye, Star Ball, and Dark Sun. So that's three games, right? That's, that's three games. And you know, I need to. Another sheet. Oh, here's the other two. So we have Sidewinder, that's four games, which basically Sharpie deemed unbeatable, and I'm tending to agree, but I've only played that for an hour, so that means I have like 11 more hours of that. We have Dauntless, which Sharpie deemed unbeatable. I've only played that for three hours. I have nine hours left. I don't totally agree with him on that. But I see the frustration from it because you're playing a spaceship shooter and you're behind clouds, the bullets were behind clouds. It's just it's irritating. Oh, and then there's speedboat. So I did beat Slalom. I was nervous because I didn't mark it off 100%, but I think Slalom is done. I'm not going to look back and pray and hope to God that I did because I, I already said six games and those are six games that I've left. So now Yeah, well the problem is with Jack of All Games it's not gonna be that great of a video probably because you're using your cell phone, like you're gonna stream a competition show with your cell phone when people wanna be able to see the games. There's people that do live events from like the arcades and stuff and they have a live feed of the games and they're still running uh versus something so you need to figure that out triple topper that's all i'm saying so i don't know what the next game is here what time is this 12 49 I, I can do one more i don't want to do dark, dark sign because i know that's a beatable game so i want to kind of my next stream lead off of that and work and beat that I don't want to do my die because my mind's not straight like so we have Sidewinder, Sidewinder, and Dauntless. Should I? Maybe I should give Dauntless some tries tonight. I think that I think that's what we're. Here. Uh, one of the games I did finish that he deemed unbeatable was uh. What was it? The one where you're, it's like Simon says, Echo. So I had to use extreme paw strats, but I was able to do it, and it was extremely difficult. Uh, let's see if I have to shoot and meet me if I do it outside. I know it's a thing. I'm cleaning it here. Let's see if I have it. Yeah, I might not have it, but uh, even with like extreme paw strats, where I would pause it and then try to write down what I saw happen and it was happening so fast. I had to guess a couple of times. Yeah, I don't have to keep a piece of paper, but like I would write the letter. I would just write red, R for red, that type of stuff. But yeah, it was uh, quite quite the feat. What's up, Sega Nick? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Team Zofar. Thanks for coming in. Well, uh, Sega Nick with the uh, Action 52, each game kind of has its own finish, uh, but some of the games are pretty unfeasible. Or you like all the stars would have to align for you to actually do it. You know, one of them is like a uh, Sudoku game with ridiculous setups, so all the stars would have to align. You have to be super lucky. So what I'm gonna do is for those games that are essentially unbeatable, I'm going to play for 12 hours because that's the one. I'm going to put, well, the original thing was I'm going to play as much as it took me to beat a certain game, like the longest game it took me to beat, and there was a game that took me an hour or 11 hours. So I at least got to make a diligent effort, and then I'll, I'll deem those games unbeatable 
I'll put an asterisk still by my beat of action movie too, because ultimately for me to be the game, I still want to actually beat it. And if the game is actually beatable, if someone comes two years from now and actually beats that game, and there's video proof of them beating it without cheating, then that would be something that I would need to revisit at a later date and do it. I'm not saying I will actually do that, but that to me, that's my mindset. So if I'm gonna do a challenge, I'm gonna do it the way that uh, my group has always done stuff. So my friends and I, we've, uh, I wanna say probably 15, 20 years back, we started something called the Video Game Festival and we would just all come over to one person's house and we'd be there for three or four nights, five days. We have the televisions hooked up, all sorts of systems and our goal is to be like every single game. And we set up certain rules and regulations uh, that would determine a satisfactory beat. Uh, some of the journal rules were like, you have to play the game on normal or higher difficulty, uh, consider a beat. Initially, uh, for fighting games, we had it where you could just beat it with one fighter, but then we changed that because it became too easy. Uh, so you had to beat it with all the, the core fighters. So you beat the game with all the core fighters, unless of course the fighting game had an actual story story, meaning a story mode where you go through and then you consider that whatever the story character is, or you could choose that one character and beat it. But uh, that's how we kind of did the, the fighting games. But with that said, when we're beating a game, you can work as a group to beat that game. So it's a little bit easier. So I could I could take up a couple fighters and someone else could use a couple fighters. So it made it a little bit easier. So for a challenge like this, that rule, I'm going to have to talk to them and see what they say. But yeah, the video game festival is so much, so awesome. Uh, I don't have the book in front of me anymore. My, my friend, he's the bookkeeper for that event, but he has it. It has everybody's, like their names, how many beats they've gotten. It tells you like their statistics, uh, beats by system, most beats at one BGF. It, it, was, it, was so, it was so much fun. And the best part about it, I think, is the camaraderie, everyone being around each other, playing games. And you don't even have to play. Sometimes you can just sit and watch someone else play. Uh, I want to say like the last by BGS, we actually started streaming because streaming was pretty new at the time um, and we were starting to get take donations for charities so it, that was kind of a cool thing uh, but it just I, I, I want to say we got older but I the event was growing and the space that we had we were running it initially when we had it we were running it at our parents houses and then we had our apartment and then we had so many people cramped up in our little apartment and now that i've gotten older and uh we all have we're starting to have kids it's a lot more difficult i tried to do another one but the wife wasn't having it at our house uh, so if we ever wanted to run the pgf we'd probably have to get a facility but we'll see no, never say never because i know the bgf was on hiatus for i want to say like three or four years at one other point and we brought it back it's definitely something we all have and you know, we all love and a passion. And it was, it's just such a great, a great event. I just can't believe we came up with it. <laughs> I really, it's just so weird. Like, why did we do that? But I guess we all just love beating games. And then also, we had them relatively, we used to have them like two a year. So you could take a game and you could start it at the VGF, get your code or your password, or have it saved, and then at the next VGF, you can start where you left off. So, yeah. So I try to basically uh, give you a long story of how my how we consider my game to be this, by the rules and regulations that we run at the VGF. So if I ever had any like questions or something about how I would actually call and talk to someone, I know for Afterburner, uh, when the Sega Genesis, Huh. During my run for this, I happened upon a continue code, and this was like just me pressing buttons. And it's crazy because during that, when you hit like certain directions and stuff, it would refuel your ship uh, during an intermission or something. And somehow I was able to find a continue. And I, uh, it doesn't like. Uh, 
I guess it continues, but it's not really, it doesn't continue at the level that you left off on. It's kind of like a level five continue. Kind of like, a, I think it's like the best example of Space Carrier. So it starts you off at like a level five. So if you're level eight, you can go back to level five. So I called live on stream and talked to uh, one of the other people in the video game festival. And they're like, well, since you didn't use any book or you didn't go to a website, you just happened to find it, then it's cool. And they consider that beat. Now I would still, myself, I still might put an asterisk on it for my challenge and go back and possibly do it all the way through. But yeah, little things like that kind of bother me. And I know for uh, what was the submarine game, I, I'm gonna put an asterisk by there because I feel like there's two missions. I need to go back and watch the footage that I didn't do a 100% uh, win on in the sense of I accomplished a goal, but I think I killed some unnecessary people. It didn't say I failed the mission, but it didn't say I did it the right way. I, think. I don't know. And then I feel bad about Abraham's battle thing. I got the bad ending. So we'll see. But I do need to move on to the B, so. But alright, so it's 1 o'clock. So we're going to play. What is the, like, the timer? So we're going to try some. That's people, but uh, Dauntless. We're gonna try some Dauntless, so we're at three hours and 15 Level minutes. Five. Give us a little Dauntless time. And, uh, kind of take it into the end of the night. I don't know how long I'm gonna play, but I do have to work tomorrow. But it doesn't, like, I just have to work all the time, so I just. You just suck it up and just do it. <laughs> More, it's like, well, I gotta work. Or, I mean, I just, that's just the life. I just have to suck it up. And I'll never beat the games if I don't power through. Oh, they hit. Nice, nice. Yeah, and there are some other games like uh, where's an interesting one where like Asteroids or there was that cartridge had multiple uh, classic games on it. So for a game like that, I, I would set a score goal. And then say, for instance, I had to do that on another system or beat it, I would actually increase that goal uh, because I had a little bit more experience with the game. So I would make it more difficult for myself later on in a challenge or so. Yeah, I'll have to, I actually have to go to the Sega 16 and see uh, what some of the rules are on some of the games. So like the whole forum's working together to beat the game, so it's kind of like a video game festival on the forum, but you're just all playing for it uh, from your own home. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder how many games they beat. Uh, there's another streamer Sh named Sharpie Plays, and he's actually, I feel like he's 600 games deep on the Sega Genesis challenge. So yeah, he's been doing it. He's a full-time streamer, so. <laughs> I feel like he streams six out of seven days, at least eight hours a day. So that puts him like at least 48 hours, if not more. And that's just streaming. You know, not much time and effort he puts in behind the scenes to keep things going. So definitely entertaining. Definitely entertaining to watch. To my knowledge, uh, Nick, I think so, but I am not. The right person to ask about that because I kind of only I watch him I do watch other people but as far as the challenge community I, I feel like two three years ago well at the Nintendo World Championships I saw Level four. what is it the Mexican runner I'm like oh that's actually a cool idea why don't I do that so I bought the retro five and I was gonna do it before the holiday, but then I work at GameStop and it was so crazy. I'm like, you know what? I'll just do it after the holiday. So I started going and beating, playing games. And then I think I was like 10 games deep, maybe, maybe four or five games deep. And I'm like, well, maybe there's other people that play second games. Let me see if they do. And you know, I happened to cross Sharpie. I'm like, oh, well, Sharpie beat me to it. <laughs> but I, I mean, I wasn't mad or anything. So yeah, that's how, uh, I came across him and then all of a sudden I realized just 
perusing his channel and looking around and there's other people that do challenges and stuff so I started following them and I watch them whenever I can. But mostly since I work all the time I just leave my computer on and try to get people views. <laughs> But yeah, everyone has their own rules and regulations as far as what's considered to be in. Hey, it's our challenge, so you kind of decide what you want to do. Just my personal feelings are, if you're going to do something, you should do it to its fullest. And if someone makes a game, you kind of want to play it the way it was intended to be played in the sense of what they expect you to do. So, like, putting something on easy probably wasn't the intent. There might be some games that start off on easy, but even for myself, I just don't want to play on easy. So I, it, it, it's, it's up to each person. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. Now, if you're going for a world record, then I think there is a right way to do stuff. Like I, I am totally against save states. Uh, in the sense of, if you're trying to set a world record time, you're gonna ch in a challenge like this, where you're trying to be the game your first time through all of them, and you use a save state to practice later stages, I feel like that's unfair because that's not really the true amount of time it would take you to beat that game. Because back in the day when the game originally came out, you would need to beat all the original levels to get to that part that you were practicing. So if you wanted a realistic time of how it would take you to beat that game, a save state wouldn't be a fair Level one. time assessment because you're practicing a later part in the game, which would would have taken you so much longer to get to. So, but that is what it is. Everyone has their time. So, all right, I'm gonna, instead of talking, talking your guys' ear off, let me play Dauntless real quick. I got all the timers set, so let's go. Get to show in a row, because I have to go back. I gotta go to sleep soon. Dauntless it is. We'll have Dauntless on the thing so I can start adding more attempts. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's not good. So after I beat Dauntless or consider it unbeatable, we are gonna be in for a Oh, there it is. We're gonna be in for a shot. Level one. Because there's like uh, 26 attempts that I have not even added to my attempts. So, as you guys can see, how unfair this game is. You truly cannot see bullets, so you might just be going into Level a bullet. One. And there he's coming from front and behind. Alright, so we've done the first level. Now, I guess I should have continued to play because we need to like a little warm up anyway. But it's alright. Level one. But I had kind of constructed a strategy where I could go boom boom, duck down, boom boom, boom. Oh. oh my god. But it, it doesn't like it doesn't account for the people coming from behind. When I was playing last time, I remember that strategy. So I can shoot through the clouds and then I can go down and see the bullets still coming at me. But I can still get my kills on this plane that's coming on this left plane on our level. The only downside would be if someone came from behind and I got caught up in bullets or anything like that. I feel like you died because something else would come up from behind. Or the middle is kind of like the same spot in the sense of you got an option to dodge up and down. And the problem with that is it's not really safe because you can't see bullets coming. That's what I mean, like the stars are the line for the other people. This game. But it is, I feel like it's feasible. Since you have to go through nine levels of this nonsense, it's like so unfair. And it only gets like each level gets harder. Level complete. Level we knock out the first two. level, but now we got to get more. Level 
What the hell happened? Did the controller come out or like am I not pressing back? I thought like I was like down for a second. No. I suck. I think I literally felt like I was stuck. Like right there. I was stuck too. I think I didn't think about that like, yeah, I'm a lot. It's not a lot. Wow. I'm horrible. You see what I'm saying? This is going to be 12 hours of torture. It's not out. At least 30 minutes of it tonight. I don't want to go to bed with nightmares of this game. Yeah, so the next stream I'm probably going to try to beat that next game. I know that's beatable, and then all I'm going to be left with are games that are deemed unbeatable. It's just like, uh, basically a countdown to the clock, saying, hey, I can't do this for a moment to do this. And then we have to celebrate and move on to the D games. And have some surprises for you guys when I move on to the D games. It's going to be exciting transition to the D. hours all the way knocked out some of the six hours. So we probably got like after we beat the Z this clone. Probably have like 45 more hours of gameplay that we can do with this game. At least we have like a definite amount of time that we know it's to take for us to uh, move on to the next one. Mine guys probably like one or two more players than the guys I have. Although I am mm, going to push me with my one game that's not important to me, so I gotta figure out what game it is. It's a bit frustrating. Level 3. Level 3. How are you going to capture multiple dudes to play? Do you have anyone that actually can play? Triple topper. The only good thing about when it gets a little bit harder is more things to go. Hopefully, it's quicker to get out of the moment. It's so dangerous to be around, especially when they're shooting bullets. They're shooting bullets like crazy, man. And, oh, there we go, we're out of this. Let's see how this is going to be insane. Alright, whatever, triple topper, you figure it out. Let me know. And I, another thing is, I need to find out what our manager's conference is. It's a lot of times it's end of August, beginning of September, so I don't want to undercommit to a date until I know what that is. It'll be crappy if I say, yeah, I'll do it, and then I have to tell you what this was. I'm going to be out of state. But I probably will say that I re I'm reconsidered. I'm going to say it for one game that I know that can be beat to last without a little shady in that sense of, oh, I hit the 12 hour mark. I have to be too done. I was going to beat. I can finish extra 52 off. But now all that's left is literally a possibility of time. 
Level two. Maybe I just need to be a zombie and just go to sleep for a couple of weeks and just power through these things. That could be an option, right? I can stream out when I come to 7 hours and stream it for me. The problem with you only stream an hour and I just so you get comfortable and start enjoying the stream. It's like, hi and bye, see ya, thanks for stopping by. Huge old ball. Not Audrey, I can tell you it's fine. What's up, Happy Swappy? Yeah, you missed another game. We knocked out the ooze, my man. We knocked out the ooze. Random dude came in with a big donation. He said, I want this game beat. And the ooze was beat. Now we, uh, since we missed the conversation, now we just have uh, only one game that we know is beatable. The rest are going to be being beated. Once I reach the 12 hour mark for each of them, let's kind of be a testament of fortitude and just playing the game and keep attempting. And of course, I'm still going to try to beat them. And let's see. I'm going to save the last one that I know can be beaten for last. So, when we actually do beat it, it's we're going out on beating the game. Still on that Overwatch kick, my man. I'm seeing a lot of people actually playing that Platinum game because Platinum is on the Switch now. Overwatch could have broaden its horizon by coming to this game. Two more players on it. I don't mind if they come from behind as long as they don't shoot me on the way in. I'm gonna get some easy kills. Level five. You want to get him on the What's with the sudden resurgence? Is it because of the hamster character? And back in the game, when you go for the fans, you're like, yeah, I don't really feel like gaming now. You're like, oh man, I'm loving this again. And then you buy the lines. I 
almost went into that bullet. I almost went into that bullet. They avoided it somehow. on PDR right now. Oh man. I know triple stopper. I know. I'm about I jinxed it by looking at this. I don't think I've even made it to level six yet. And now now we've made it to level six without dying. Drink some water. Oh, come on, dude. Let this be that run. Let this be that run. Because that would save eight and a half hours as well. Come on. now like I lose myself. A single enemy for like two minutes there. Oh my gosh, I saw the bullet and I still went into it. I said it's triple topper's fault. Happy slides are gonna blame it on triple topper. Now we have to hope. But I still haven't had clarification that uh, when you die, when your kills continue. There's no over. We just don't have to. Decided to go top round, but the bottom round was the one. It was a super one, but he died, bro. He went to the fifth season. I don't like that I don't see any of these tournaments there. I give you a time to breathe, but then take you out of your room at the same time.
Holy crap. Oh. All right, so now. What's up, Barbie? Power up. We're on level seven. So we're one life behind what our normal plan is. You know how our normal plan is on these nine level gains. Is you can lose a life on level seven, you can lose a life on level eight, you can lose a life on level nine. So if things continue here, this means we need to be one of these levels without that. This is the furthest I've gotten. Level 6 was the furthest I've gotten. I almost feel like level 5 was the furthest I've gotten before. So we are, we are on the roll right now. I, I don't want to change it, but I feel like I already have. But dude, this would be this would be an immaculate thing. Like, I could go to sleep a happy man if I beat this game right now. I don't know if you were here earlier, but uh, I was talking about how uh, when IG and I saw them playing uh, Altered Beast for the first time, and it was really interesting to see their strategies and stuff and the struggles they were having. And they they were they were not trying to use the reverse uh, rewind feature on the Sega Classics, but eventually they proceeded to use that, so they didn't have to keep starting the game over and responding. All right, let's do this. I know I don't want to, but we have to. I want to just leave it pause forever. Look at this, I'm on level 7 of Dauntless. Oh my gosh, dude, if you're the reason I lose, I'm going to lose my mind.
had it like this? I didn't have it like this. I think I had it like this. I don't even remember how I was playing. I apologize. The dog was taking longer than expected, and he didn't even come back in here with me. Alright, so. <sighs> Level 8. Talk about taking out of my, uh, whatever I was doing. Take me out of my zone. My mindset. Focus. 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 Definitely a pretty sweet one. Three personal bests in one run. Three personal bests in one run. Ships shot down the way. It's not that much. We'll resolve right now because we're level 5. Um, I almost felt like the game and the one that got like, easier the further we got. But we'll see. I think my SC map in this round. something else that's making me do that. Even when I had the real hardware, ready for the Part two fishing that stayed in the bottom strategy. Better. Bottom strategy. Good idea Level on paper, two. but it's executed, it's not limited to the option.
out. Dude, I was gonna get hit by that bullet if I didn't get out of that stage, right? What the shit? It's stuff, man. Good stuff. Make it some moves. Make it some moves. How or why it's happening? Yeah. That was 
is the more valuable type of argument. Ooh, looks like it has that moment. So triple copper ring sequence here. trying to keep triple topper up all night. Level seven, with the same amount of lives as the last run. Something is going on here. It's not the only one that's sitting in your bottom. It's the last one. No! You effing idiot! You suck! Why did you die? That was a mess there. I feel like I only need a couple more guys and that would have been it. Dang it. Oh, shit. And I know I don't want to. Of course, I don't want to even play anymore. Can anyone tell how long I've been streaming? 
power for if I need to come up a bit hot. Yeah, I think it's time for me to quit too. So, uh, I'm, I'm uh, thoroughly pleased with how I'm doing tonight. I almost don't want to stop because I'm doing so well. But I think a lot of it has to do with these other classes. Uh, it's giving me a lot more focus because you need every millisecond of attention to dodge those bullets. But then also getting rid of that bottom strat, as I mentioned before. But uh, I appreciate everyone coming in. I appreciate the long barbie, triple topper, everyone out there. Random dude, thank you for the donation. Happy Slappy if you're still out there. Well, I'm going to give you guys all a big tea. My throat's right. Wait a second. That's not right. Level one. All right. A big tea. Zopa. Oh, we're up. And uh, we'll be back this week for sure. Uh, maybe it's not tomorrow night, but it's it's a marathon sprint. So we have essentially five games that we need to play for 12 hours. So it's just pound the pound, pound, pound the way. Hopefully we can get lucky and beat those games. Like Dauntless, two decent runs back to back. It would be amazing if we uh, figure that out. I think starting to feel confident, but tomorrow when I play or whenever I play next, we'll, we'll probably see the truth and I'll be back pissed off about the game again. But, uh, thank you guys again. I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful night and we'll see each other uh, later this week. Level two.